Today, let's collect the Martian Manhunter. Back to JP's Budget Collecting and our Let's Collect series. Uh, today we're collecting John Jones, the Martian Manhunter. Um, doing another little tweak to the format of these. Uh, as you guys know, I made some massive changes with my last one, the Supergirl one. Um, took a lot of your guys' feedback. Hopefully, this one will be hit the mark a little closer, but I think we're on the right track. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the Martian Manhunter, John Jones. Um, in my opinion, one of the more underrated DC characters. He's been around for a long time, since 1955. Technically, he was uh, introduced before uh, Barry Allen, and so he technically was golden age, but just by a few months, because uh, he was introduced in 1955. Uh, but he very much, his early portrayal was very much DC Silver Age. <laughs> um, it's been a long time in backup stories. Hasn't really had a successful attempt at an ongoing solo title. He's mostly been kind of limited to team books, mainly Justice League. Um, but he's been kind of the heart and soul of that team for a long time. So today we're going to give you a breakdown of the key comics, uh, the best storylines and the fun covers for Martian Manhunter, John Jones. As a reminder, this is not to be meant to be all encompassing. This is just supposed to be a quick guide. If you want to start collecting this character, if you have interest in, it, interest in just reading a little more about them or finding a few, uh, collectibles about them that you don't know. Um, hopefully this is a place to help you get started. So with that, let's move into the key comics for Martian Manhunter, John Jones. John Jones first appeared in Detective Comics 225 and the backup story. Um, this is definitely a big book um, right at the end of the Golden Age, beginning of the Silver Age. His second appearance was in 226 and kind of finished his origin story. Um, and he would continue on at basically Detective Comics backup stories for a significant period of time. His first cover appearance didn't come until five years later in a small book, uh, Brave and the Bull 28, which is also the first appearance of the Justice League. Um, he finally left the backup stories in Detective Comics to become kind of the lead character in House of Mystery 143. Um, and he would stay in House of Mystery for quite some time as part of multiple characters. Um, he actually left the main DC Universe in Justice League 70, of America 71 for a long time, almost 15 years, um, only making occasional appearances until he returned kind of full time in 1984. Uh, and Justice League of America 228. His first solo title didn't actually happen until 1988, uh, and that was just a four issue miniseries. And he didn't get a ongoing until 1998, and that ongoing uh, spun out of JLA relaunch in 97. And it all, but it only lasted 36 issues, although some great stories in there. Um, he died, uh, death, like many comic book characters, in Final Crisis number one. Um, this only lasted till the end of the Blackest Night event. Um, and last key, I kind of stretch a little bit. This is Brave and the Bold 50. This is the first time Brave and the Bold used two characters teaming up, and that became the staple for this book going forward after that. So those were our key comics. Uh, several big books there early, <laughs> um, to put it mildly, especially that first cover. Um, but uh, overall, a lot of affordable books that you can get into fairly cheaply. Um, you'll notice that's pretty much a theme with uh, The Martian Manhunter is most of his books are pretty affordable. Uh, so now that we've got those keys, let's move into the storylines. 
Usually I try to limit myself to about five storylines. I didn't do that this time. Um, I ended up with eight, uh, but I think these are some good places. If you want to read uh, some of Martian Manhunter's most interesting or good stories, I think these are a great place to start. First up, we have JLA Secret Files and Origins. Um, this basically just shows how John uses multiple identities to cover the world that isn't covered by the other heroes. The second story, Trial by Fire, shows him trying to overcome his fear of fire. He's successful, but not without like several consequences. It actually ends up turning him into a villain for a while. Final Crisis Re Requiem is just a great story showing how much he meant to all the other members of the Justice League, and just a great tribute to John after his death. The early issues of New Frontier had several classic scenes and a lot of great focus on John, and just part of Darwin Cook's classic run, The New Frontier. Martian Manhunter American Secrets is a cool drama basically set in the 50s with him working as a detective in America, kind of a noir take on Martian Manhunter. And this, and our sixth story, Justice League vs. Despero, Despero returns looking for revenge, but John's the only member of the Justice League that's the same, so the focus is on him completely. Son of Mars kicks off his only really long-going solo series, not necessarily the best series, but a great place to start for him, and there's a couple other stories later that aren't collected that you should read. And finally, most recently, we have uh, the recent ongoing Maxi series um, that redoes its origin and another great place to start for John Jones. So those were our Martian Manhunter storylines. So now let's get to the main event, the thing that everybody wants, that usually everybody likes the most, which is those cool covers. Um, I will say there's not a ton of options <laughs> of really uh, Martian Manhunter focused covers. Um, there are lots of team covers, lots of really cool team covers, but I wanted to really focus on covers where he was front and center um, and not just part of an ensemble kind of thing. Uh, so that made it a little tough to come up with a complete list. Um, but I found some. I hope you like them. They're scattered. As always, I try to limit myself to one cover per artist, and I try to scatter them out throughout his history. So these are the fun covers uh, for Martian Manhunter. First up in our covers is House of Mystery 147, and this cover just kind of exemplifies this era of John and House of Mystery. Lots of crazy fun covers. Next we have Justice League 178, where John is playing chess for the lives of his fellow Justice League members and trying to save them from Despero. World's Finest 212, John's letting Superman have it, and I just think that's kind of a fun. Um, we can't sometimes forget just how powerful John is, that he's nearly on the same level as Clark. This Chuck Patton cover from 1984 just reminds us that John was not always the last Martian, and a nice Martian versus Martian battle. Martian Manhunter, American Secrets number one, and actually this is very similar, two and three are very similar covers, but I just love this kind of noir, simple, uh, just kind of a classic cover to me. What do you say? He's sitting on a throne of Oreos, and poor Blue Beetle and Gooster Gold are uh, making up the base of the throne, it looks like. Just a nice close-up cover from the JLA run, number 13. Um, just a really cool close-up of John. Now, this cover is one I just really like. I can see where it might not be for everyone, but I do really enjoy this from the 2015 Martian Manhunter miniseries. Jim Lee did a bunch of really cool, individually character-focused B covers to start the most recent Justice League run, and this one of John is no, no slacker in that category. And finally, I could have filled this whole list with Joss Milton B covers from the most recent Martian Manhunter run. My favorite is this one, number eight, but number four, as you know, is the one I've been using for all the thumbnails. So those are our cool covers. Um, 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the new format a little bit. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Still tweaking this a little bit, but I think we're on the right track. And we will catch you next time.